Hi, welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have this time is the Matsubara Blue or Algami Number no. Two Nashiji Kritsuke uh, 210 millimeter knife. So the core steel on this is uh, Algami or Blue Paper Number no. Two Reactive High Carbon Steel. So that's the core cutting steel. On either side of that core steel, you've got soft stainless cladding, so that is non-reactive. Heat treat. It's not specified, but it should be around the 62 Rockwell range. That's generally a good target that they shoot for. So the construction, as I mentioned, is three layers. So you've got a soft stainless cladding on either side of that harder core steel. The cladding does come up and cover the spine as well. You can see the core steel peeking out from the edge. So that's the reactive part of the blade. The weight and dimensions will vary a little bit from knife to knife. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is about 235 grams or 8.3 ounces. These are stout, stiff blades. That's the style of this maker. So that's what to be expected. The edge length is about 210 millimeters right on the money or eight and a quarter inches. The overall length about 14.4 millimeters or 365, I'm sorry, 14.4 <laughs> millimeters would be pretty short. So 365 millimeters or 14.4 inches. Spine thickness, as I said, these babies are thick. So coming out of the handle above the Back of the heel, it's about 4.2 millimeters, and I measure about 3.5 halfway down. So uh, we don't lose a lot of thickness here. There's not a lot of taper. You get some taper towards, um, you know, you make that turn at the reverse sword tip, and you get a little bit of taper towards the tip. It's not, this is definitely not a laser style knife, but the performance is surprisingly good. The uh, blade height is 48.3 approximately on this one. Handle is octagonal rosewood with a black pack of wood ferrule. Nice fit and finish on the handle. Uh, nice tight install at the tang um, where it goes into the handle uh, opening. You've got a fair amount of curve and a bit of polish to the spine, so the fit and finish on that's nicely done, as well as on the choil. So it's nicely contoured and polished a bit. So very comfortable out of the box. Again, the blade is very stout, very stiff. You've got a fairly low grind on these, so you get a lot of food separation and a lot of food release properties and at the you know trade-off of performance. Uh, there's always a set of trade-offs on knife design, but you'll see here it's a really cool looking blade. They've got a Nishiji or pear skin kind of modeled finish to it. On the left side of the blade as you'd be holding it, there's some hand chiseled kanji on there. And on the right side of the blade, uh, you can see just kind of that Nishiji finish. These will vary from knife to knife. You've got some hammer marks in there from being hand hammered. There's a lot of you know, blacksmith character in these. Really, you know, handmade quality to it. Very cool knife. So again, performance is not going to be on the laser end of the scale, but I really enjoyed testing this knife out. And uh, again, really nice food release and food separation properties. Uh, it just depends on, you know, where you want to come in on knife performance and how you like your knife to work. Um, the um, balance point. I knew I was forgetting something. The balance point is going to be fairly far forward. This is a, you know, thicker, stout, heavier, tall blade. So there's the balance point, which is in front of a pinch grip for me. You know, if you put a custom handle on this, you could make it heavier. Um, but, uh, you know, it's got some mass to it. It feels like it does well. A lot of cutting power. Let's look at the profile on this guy here. You can see a very, very low tip. So you're not going to go high on a, on a rock. This just doesn't do it. I'm hitting my tip right in there. So, you know, this is not meant for a big rocker. You can rock over small stuff, no problem. Um, you can see it's not a huge flat spot, but you got a bit of a flat towards the heel. Um, it's just kind of a usable all-around profile. It's not a pure chopper, but you got a lot of low belly to work with. So you know you can do you can do tip draws on this are awesome for that. But it's just it's a nice profile. I've been using it. You can see a little patina developing in that center section there. It definitely shows you it is stainless on the. On the cladding, so these are just really interesting knives. They look cool, nicely finished, they've got a lot of character to them. Um, you know, unique kind of style with the thick, heavy blades, but that's just what they do. So if you like a blade with lots of stiffness and, you know, robust feel, this is definitely right up your alley. So this is the Matsubara Aogami, or Blue Number no. 2, Nashiji Kiritsuke 
slash Guto 210 millimeter knife.